Hey guys, uh, my name is Borisov Mitkov. I'm a concept artist and freelance illustrator. Uh, I'm here to show you the new Coral Painter 2017, some of the new features, also to explain some uh, of my workflow, my process, uh, to creating uh, characters for both games and uh, movies. Here I have uh, this example of uh, some thumbnails done for Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Uh, so here where usually the creative process starts with uh, creating those thumbnails for the art director or if you're working freelance for your client uh, why you do I start with uh, you know the thumbnails is because it's uh, the fastest way to uh, explore a character a vehicle a prop or whatever even an environment uh, it doesn't take much time, you can uh, just be creative, uh, think of different uh, designs, the outfit, uh, to some degree, you know, the face. Uh, so you can uh, find, uh, you know, the proper outfit for this character, uh, how he's going to look into the game or in the movie. Uh, once it's decided which design, you know, fits the setting and everything, by the art director you can go while well, it's exploring, you know, here in the second row, uh, you can start exploring some of the posture and the expression of the character, uh, making him more uh, believable, you know, for the viewer. This is uh, where you can you can start thinking about different details, texture, materials, and uh, so on, uh, before the game comes uh, into the engine and, uh, you know, being modeled before that by the 3D modeler. Uh, once you decide on the design of the posture and everything, you can uh, go on with uh, final rendering of the character, how it's uh, going to approach it. Well, of course, there are so many different uh, ways. You can sta start straight in color or just uh, pick a black and white sketch and uh, color on top of it. Uh, which is actually a preferable way because um, uh, while working on the black black and white uh, you know character you have uh, more um, flexibility in uh, changing details uh, changing uh, elements and so on without uh, altering you know the color of the character and so on so these uh, changes are uh, done way better on a you know, black white uh, sketch than you know when you go into a color uh, it's way uh, difficult uh, afterwards. So, how you're going to cover this character? I'll give you two ways, which are quite similar in some way, but uh, one of the ways uh, glazing technique, using a cover on the top of a black and white sketch and uh, pushing it further. Uh, you can uh, use uh, blending uh, blending mode of the layers and putting some color on top of the black and white sketch getting rid of some of the black spots here and uh, here comes one of the new features of the new Coral Painter 2017 uh, in this um, layout which is uh, especially intended for uh, concept artists we have uh, texture painting and glazing there are new glazing category here in the brushes so you can apply on a very thin uh, layer with a uh, very low opacity uh, the colors you're going to put on the character and covering it in some way so from there on you just keep building it up adding some lights shadows details and so on and building on the top of uh, this character when while you achieve you know the final colored look you're looking for uh, this is one of the approaches using uh, glazing uh, brushes you know you have uh, this control panel here you have a lot of uh, you can do a lot of changes uh, to uh, you know to the opacity of the brush the way it interacts with the you know with the canvas uh, also you can apply texture if uh, using one of the new texture cover brushes 
not this exactly, probably more like this one. Uh, we can choose the painter texture from uh, the library here. Pop a new layer on the top of it. Set some blending mode to, let's say, cover eyes. Not quite visible, probably default, okay. And uh, with the brush you actually reveal the texture on the top of a character. You can uh, experiment with uh, different blending modes. There you go. You can move, uh, transform or whatever you want to do with the texture. You can scale it, rotate it, and uh, actually anything you can do with uh, normal transform tool. And this way you can simply apply interesting texture elements in your work. So it's it's quite too, uh, it's quite a cool new feature. I totally love it. So, let me show you one of the other approaches I use in uh, creating a character. This one is from the 3D Total uh, book about uh, you know comic characters. It's um, called it uh, Fiddler Johnny. This is some kind of, you know, gangster. Here's the original sketch after you know all the thumbnailing, uh, exploring. Uh, once uh, you have it, you know, nailed down, you can use this uh, black and white sketch as uh, as a base of your painting. Uh, in this case, I usually change the color of the sketch to more reddish brown and put it on a multiply. This way, I get rid of uh, the black colors and. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, get rid of black colors and uh, the painting afterwards is uh, way more easier. Uh, you don't have to mix the black color into your uh, palette. And uh, by adding some fat color mask underneath it, you, you can use as a mask for, as a selection for the rest of the layers when you start putting colors and uh, you know shading to it this way you don't you're not going uh, out of uh, the lines out of the boundaries uh, once you're happy with uh, under cover put under a sketch you can start adding details on the top of it as you see I'm uh, kind of get rid of some of the lines here and there of the sketch while covering, um, putting the you know the shadow, the light, um, finding my preferable uh, white source. Of course, some texturing on the case here and there using photo textures, smoke for the cigar, and the tattoo. This is all on the separate layers, so you have uh, full control of any of them if you have to change them later, so it doesn't affect uh, the rest of the painting. So, it's a sketch beneath the, those two groups, initial color underneath it, and all the details and fixes and everything on the top of it. Once you're happy with, uh, you know, with the rendering, and how it looks. You can always put just a background underneath it, underneath it. Of course, some shadow to make him, you know, step on the ground. And you have your character. It doesn't matter if it's for a game, movie, or a comic book. 
it will work. It's a really easy technique as long as you uh, keep uh, you know with it and uh, yeah good luck with uh, whatever you do just don't give up guys just follow the flow and that's it bye from me <laughs>